I'm Tatum Skipper, and welcome to Real Florida Magazine. Welcome back. Here today again on the beautiful campus of Florida Panhandle Technical College. It's spring. Spring has indeed sprung. So, uh, March is supposed to come in like a lion, out like a lamb. I'll tell you what, we went from winter to summer, seems like all in one week. Uh, prior to that, we're experiencing all four seasons every day. So uh, as we say in North Florida, if you don't like the weather, wait a little while and it will change. Here today with Maria Johnson and uh, Jenny Ann Dean from Sunland Center, we're going to talk about Art in the Park. This is a brand new event uh, as of last year, their inaugural event. This year's second annual, we're going to talk about what it is, it happens right there at the environmental park on the campus of Sunland Center. They were here in the past talking about it, Maria's first visit, but this is an opportunity for you as an artist to display your work, possibly even sell some of that work, but more importantly, you as a member of the public to experience a part of Sunland Center that we typically don't see. Uh, the uh, residents uh, display their art. It's heartwarming. It's certainly one you're not going to want to miss. When we come back, we're going to talk about all this and more, and we will be right back. Welcome back. As mentioned, our guest today is Sunland Center, Maria Johnson, Jenny Ann Dean. Jenny, no stranger to the show. Maria, welcome. This is your first visit. Yes, it is. Thanks for taking the drive over from Mariana this Thank morning. Thank you for having us this morning. You guys came over with Beth Basford, and we're going to talk to yes. Beth uh, in a little while. Wow, you guys always have something going on. Um, you know, it's been a while since Fall Festival, but that is such a huge event. And I know in your perspective, bigger than anything I can probably manage or imagine as far as the preparation, the execution, then all the cleanup afterwards. Right. But for us, it's pretty overwhelming. So I, when I say you, we just went to Fall Festival, it, it's still sharp in our memories. We're here to talk about art in the park. Now, this was uh, a second occurrence of that. You mentioned that your superintendent at uh, Sunland is actually the brainchild behind it. Let's start with the nuts and bolts. Tell us who Maria Johnson is. Maria Johnson uh, is an artist. I have been with Sunland for 11 years and I'm also a vocational instructor at Sunland, uh, teaching some classes there. Um, I love working at Sunland. Uh, it was a new experience for me, um, teaching art uh, prior to Sunland. Uh, private lessons and then coming to Sunland and experiencing a different individual type of individual and seeing the wonderful things that they are capable of doing it's just it's mind-boggling truly is a wonderful experience one of the things that really captivates us about Sunland is that we've gotten away from when I was a kid, when we had uh, people with uh, uh, learning disabilities or developmental issues, they were put into usually a state institution. They were treated almost like prisoners. In your case, we are giving these people the opportunity to function in a real world environment. And in many cases, I would imagine to outgrow the, the need for that facility over time. So going to Fall Festival, going to all the events on your campus, the opportunity to interact and to experience um, your residents, in this case, the opportunity for those residents to express themselves through art. I would imagine that you find people, and, and I'm talking to Jenny, I'm kind of talking to both right, of you here, right, that was... but um, even some of the residents who you've known for many years, and all of a sudden you put them into that artistic environment, I would imagine that you find things about them that you probably didn't know, not unlike anybody else in the real world, but in this case, probably some artistic abilities that, uh, that are just pretty mind-boggling. Mind would that be fair to say? That is fair to say. And I think a vital thing that um, was such a wonderful surprise is when you see someone that is so confident, like last year sharing their work with total strangers, look what I did, and see the pride. No one should be deprived of that. And it was just overwhelming. So many people in the community um, expressed that they had no idea that anything was even like that at our facility. Jenny, as mentioned, um, we're talking about your residents who in many cases have developmental disabilities, they have learning disabilities, they've got opportunities to, in the environment which Sunland provides, have a nurturing fa familial or family type of, of an environment in which they can develop at their own speed, at their own rate. Correct. 
your events at Sunland are sort of unusual because you're inviting the public in to what could be a confidential or a, uh, uh, an environment in which you would have uh, confidentiality and uh, uh, hypersensitivity to the fact that you are um, a state mandated developmental facility. But in this environment, your main streaming, your main lining, your residents, and it's and it's an opportunity for everybody in that in that environment to learn. In the case of Fall Festival, um, I've never seen such smiles. I've never seen, and I'm not talking about your residents. I'm talking about the public when they come in there and they get an opportunity. So often, don't we not take those opportunities to slow down and to learn a little bit about what is not familiar to our life? You know, people. some people are afraid of the residents. They're not familiar with them. And when they have the opportunity to interact with them, it is so heartwarming, um, people rewarding. People leave there with a smile on their face, and they have a newfound respect for what we do every day. Um, unless you work there and see how special these individuals are and it's the little things in life that we do every day in interacting with them that makes them who they are. Yeah, you know, we're talking about people here. Oh, absolutely. And, but for the grace of God, any of us could have a relative in that environment today because they need that nurturing um, environment in which they can thrive and prosper and not get overwhelmed by that which overwhelms them. And that's different from, from, every, uh, from person to person. Maria, you say that you're also a therapist on campus. Is that correct? A vocational instructor. Okay. I work in the print shop. Okay. That's an exciting place to work. So, teacher. Teacher, for lack of a better term. Right. Uh, overseer, teacher, teacher? Uh, mentor. Right. Right. <laughs> right, a little bit of everything. Yeah. Advice. Uh, but learning uh, print shop skills, bindery, um, just it's a work site for our individuals. It falls under uh, centralized support services. And that's very rewarding, too. Like, um, see someone learn new skills that they could possibly use for employment when they leave Sunland. So you're, learning, you're teaching a trade. Right. You also use it for in-house publications? Uh, we do for in-house and also for the community. So your, your services are available at a fee? Mm -hmm. And that money goes back into that program? Into our Client Welfare Trust Fund, yes. So again, you're allowing just another part of that, what we consider everyday life for your mm -hmm. residents, working, going to work. Right. Are they held to a, a, a standard as far as yes, they are. showing up on time, minimum number of hours, uh, all that um, goes along with that's it? That's correct, just like the real world. <laughs> yeah, and, and at the end of the day, isn't that what the effort of Sunland and any other uh, 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 facility such as Sunland to tr to get these people back into the mainstream right. to try to overcome right. any, we call them disabilities. I, I hate that word. Sometimes these people are just simply living on a different level than we are and they're fine. They're, they're, they're doing everything. We look at them and use our blueprint or our, our, right. me our, our measurement on them. And just because it doesn't fit with ours, we think that there's something different or wrong. But in reality, they're totally happy. And that's one thing. If I could say any word at all about Sunland, I see happiness on these faces. That is correct. They are people just like we are. Yeah. We all have our differences. Uh, they might have some greater obstacles to overcome, but they are just like you and I. And forgive my awkwardness, because you know, I'm, there's, a, there's this big elephant in the room, and you know, I'm just gonna come out and say it. You know, we are trying to be so politically correct and we try to not sit, use the words which are gonna be offensive. And that's the last thing that I wanna do. But at the end of the day, we're talking about people who have some sort of issues that they are dealing with. Your facility is helping them to deal with that. And what better opportunity to, to demonstrate our, our humanity than to embrace that effort? Exactly. That's why this art show was so important to our superintendent. They should not be deprived of things that go on, uh, events that are um, available to the outside world. It should be available to them also. And I think that is so admirable. Um, and of course, I wanted to participate. It's just right up my alley, you know. You're but, double dipping. 
You shouldn't even get paid for this part That's of the right. job. That's right. That's right. Well, there's been a couple of changes. The first uh, event, you only allowed residents to uh, uh, exhibit residents their art. And, and staff that was affiliated with Sunlight. Right. right. This year, you're allowing the public. Exactly. Um, the first year, you did not uh, entertain any sales opportunities or any opportunity for somebody to, to sell their work. And again, because it was campus-related uh, folks that were doing it. This year, on the contrary, if a private uh, art uh, artist comes in, they they can, you're going to allow them to sell their work? Yes, they will be responsible for uh, conducting that sale themselves. We will not be handling any sales, but they can certainly, yes, sell their work. I don't think they'd probably trust you to do it on their <laughs> behalf anyway. I mean, you know, the, right. you're an artist. You've been in the Mariana market for a long time. Um, what, what is the art community in Mariana doing? Is it robust? Is it, is it thriving? Uh, do you, does it fluctuate with the times? What, what's going on these days? It fluctuates with the times somewhat. Uh, over the years, though, uh, I can remember struggling for years and years, and perseverance pays off. Um, I am fortunate now to do a lot of commission work, um, and just hang in there. It's rural America. Do you have a shop? I have an in-home gallery, okay. and um, I sell to other galleries um, in the area, and you just have to push it. It's not a big market for You're, you're self-employed in that respect, and, and you, you right. need to do everything that anybody self-employed does. Right. Jenny, um, tell us the date, time, and all the rest of the details about Art in the Park. It Adam. is Saturday, May the 7th, from 10 to 12 at the Environmental Park. Okay, May the 7th. That's the first Saturday in May. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All right. Um, we're showing this 2016. We're now in March, and obviously this show potentially could be seen 10 years from now. Unless there's a major change, this will be the first Saturday in May each successive year. That is correct. Okay. When people park, and the good thing about your events, and Fall Festival being a sterling example of that, is that you have staff instructing people where to drive, where to park, uh, you've got buggies running around, your car golf carts, which are allowing people that maybe don't want to or can't walk from where they park to get to the event. So hats off for that. That's, that's huge. And that's what keeps people coming back. When people come in the front gate of the environmental park, what are they going to start to see? They're going to walk up to see um, First of Colors. They're going to walk in and see easels filled with a beautiful artwork that has been done by the community and our residents. We're going to um, have entertainment. Um, we haven't got it confirmed, but we have several um, individuals that will be uh, providing entertainment throughout the event. We will have some live demonstrations. We have um, some individuals that will be coming in quilting. So um, go back to the entertainment. Um, where on the uh, campus is that entertainment going to be? Is we it going to be in the gazebos? Or? Yes, sir. We have uh, the pavilion, the main pavilion at the environmental park, and we will remove all the uh, picnic tables and have the art easels so you can walk up and down. We will have some tables that you can chairs that you can sit out under the um, trees and enjoy the music. Uh, they'll be on the stage in the environmental park. Okay, when you say the pavilion, is that the the stage which is undercover with all of the, the tables and chairs yes, under, or the, the, the benches underneath? Yes, sir. It? Okay, so that's sort of in the central part of the park. Correct. So people came in the front gate, it would be on their left as they go in. Right. Okay. Um, You've got entertainment, you've got food vendors, or how is that going to work? We do not have food. Okay. Um, we will have some bottled water for individuals to enjoy while they're there and browsing the artwork and enjoying the entertainment. So you're not bringing in vendors per se? Not at this time. Okay. Yeah. And hats off to you for that, frankly. Sometimes we can get away from an art type environment by making it too much of a county fair environment. Exactly. Um, and there's a time and a place for both. Um, right. Festivals are great and they need all of that stuff. The one thing about festivals, and um, as someone who did big events for a lot of years, you gotta have something for mom and dad and the kids. In this environment, will children be happy for uh, long enough for the parents to enjoy this, or would this be something you would maybe suggest that parents not bring young children to, or, or is there any direction at all uh, about that? Oh no, I think um, we had children last year that seemed to really enjoy uh, the music and looking around at the different uh, forms of art. So something for everyone. Something for everyone. First Saturday in May, and what is the admission fee? None. That's four There's good reasons to go, <laughs> F-R-E-N-E. -E. That's right, okay. absolutely. Wow, so it's totally free. That's a lot of work. 
it's worth it. It's a lot of work, though. At the end of the day, yeah. I would imagine it's all hands on deck, uh, on deck for your staff, for your personnel. Yes. Um, how long does it take to set up for this? Can this something you can start the day before, or is, is there much more preparation than that necessary? Uh, we did not put the art out until the morning sure. of the show, but we set the tables, you know, in place, and the plants, and you know, those types of things. But art goes out that morning. We start about 5 a.m. Well, we checked the weather forecast before you got here this morning, and it's actually going to be balmy and sunny and about 70 degrees, so oh, a perfect awesome. day. First Saturday in May, it's the second annual Art in the Park uh, there in the Environmental Park at Sunland Center. Here right now with Maria Johnson and Jenny Ann Dean. Talking about Sunland, and, and sorry that I got sort of sidetracked to wanting to talk about the nuts and bolts of Sunland, but I think that's an integral part of the story. Right. There's lots of art shows. There's lots of artists. There's lots of opportunities to enjoy art. This is truly, to my way of thinking, a unique opportunity to experience Sunland. Absolutely. And it just happens to be in an art festival environment. Um, I, 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 I say it as a fan. Uh, we've had the fortune of going to your fall festival for many years. The last several years we've documented photo and video. And um, when you look at an event through a viewfinder, you look at things a lot differently. And then when you edit the photos and the video after the fact, even again differently. And um, hats off to you, you guys. Um, you, you provide a service. You do. Uh, and this is not something that you probably don't hear um, from families and, and the community on a regular basis. But for what it's worth, thanks for all that you do with Sunland. Thank you for supporting us. Yes, absolutely. We appreciate it. We plan on being there. We're going to um, try to do photo and video and, and after the fact, allow our viewers to see the event. Maria, Jenny Ann, thank you so much for being here today. Uh, pleasure to meet you. As thank always, you so good much. to see you, Jenny. Um, thank you so much. Hopefully you'll come back soon. I think that Would you... Would love to. Yeah, I think you need to come quarterly, if not more often. Anytime you have something going on, I think that the Sunland story is one that begs to be told. And um, this is an opportunity, so shame on you if you don't take take advantage of it from time to time. But uh, I know that Beth's, uh, Beth is going to be coming with your superintendent uh, at some point, and, uh, or possibly we're going to be going to the campus to interview uh, them. So... But again, if you have anything come up at all, please uh, just he don't hesitate. Give us a call. And, and Thank we'll make you so much Thank for you. supporting Sunland. Yes, Thanks absolutely. Thanks again for being here today. We enjoyed it. It's here today with Maria Johnson and Jenny Ann Dean, um, all part of Sunland Center with the upcoming first Saturday in May, Art in the Park, second annual uh, big occurrence of the event. If you're an art lover or if you're an artist, uh, in both cases, you want to pay attention to this event. If you are an artist, you need to contact them. You can find out how you can participate, an opportunity to not only display your art, but also to uh, possibly sell your art, to maybe even uh, get some benefactors on board. If you're a struggling artist, you may find uh, somebody with deep pockets that wants to give you a pile of money to see if you can uh, expound your craft or, or expand your talents. And uh, what better opportunity to do it than right on the campus of Sunland Center in the Environmental Park. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 